Okay, dump that out along that wall there. Now, in the same way that he set those screeds, those sticks that he used to pull off those two points, we have two fixed points here, so this is going to be really easy. We've got a drain that we can pull off of, and we've got our floor height that we can pull off of. But in a real-world situation, we would have to get elevation points off of this height around the perimeter. We want it to be nice and level around the perimeter. Now, because it's a shower, we have to have a sloped area. We need to have at least a quarter of an inch per foot drop and no more than a half of an inch per foot. Unless so, it's ADA, then it's a maximum of a quarter of an inch per foot drop. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do here, and you can see how dry this is, is I'm going to put too much material up here, and I'm going to compact it. It's real important that when I compact it, uh, that gives um, us a lot of compressive spot. strength. But I want to set my mud up in a way that it's much higher than what I really need in order to get some good compaction. Uh, some of the testing the compaction is when it gets its strength. If you just low, throw it in there loose, it's not going to get the strength it needs. You really need to put some effort into it to compact it. If you go too thick, it's say if you go too much of an overfill, you're not going to get the proper amount of compaction also. You kind of want to be in that sweet spot of just a little bit over. Yeah, and when you set your perimeter screeds, you want to pack those a little bit harder because you're going to end up taking this straight edge across it, and you don't want to dig into those perimeter screeds. Now, if you guys can see... I'm a little bit above my, my point that I need to hit here, and pretty much the whole way down, I'm a little bit above it. Can I have just a little bit more mud? Let's throw some more in here. I could probably, right in here. Now, one important part, if we're going to kind of connect these mud together and fill a low spot, no, that's perfect, thank you. You've done that before? Once or twice. Okay. Okay, so basically I've got my straight edge, I've got my two points. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this across, taking the excess off until I hit where I want to be. And you want to stay in touch with the edge of the straight edge. And what I mean by that is you're looking for places that might be low. I'm just using a seesawing motion, and you see I'm still high. Got a lot there. Okay, give me that trial. Get some of this out of the way. We've got about five minutes left, Rob. Okay. I'll get on to here. All right. You see I'm way high here. I'm going to keep going. Perfect there, I think. And we would take the tile from this flat surface directly down into the drain. There wouldn't be uh, a curb or anything to step over or a threshold or anything like that. It would just go zero right into it. Pretty much just like I did with the side, he's going to go between those two points doing a little seesaw zigzag motion in order to make it flat. And then he's going to take the trowel to take a little bit of extra off of the wall there. Okay. There we go. Let's move this so I can see what's going on here. All right. So we're going to just cut this right off the edge here. All right. You're helping me out. Thank you. Well, we won't be able to go quite to the edge. We'll just cut it off right about here so you can see. Now, what I want to do is I, I brought my, my straight edge in a couple inches off the wall and worked it over to the wall. Once I get enough of a place to use my trowel, I can just bring it over and cut it off square and get rid of that excess. But as you're going along, you always want to put your straight edge pull that in the, on there and kind of check and see how you're doing. See, that's coming along pretty good. I'm going to cut this edge off. How much time do we got? Uh, probably zero. Okay, hand me, hand me that. Yeah, then you would take the wood float, smooth that out, and then to the flat trowel, the steel float, one more time to go ahead and make that nice and smooth on the top of it. Um, then you can apply your membranes and whatnot.